Morning guys, welcome back to Gathers Curry Pond. So, last video you saw will have been the uh, trip out, day trip down to um, Cuttlebrook Koi Farm. And this one is going to be the second of my new fish. So, I'll take you down, let you have a look at him. Get back to you in a second. Yeah, oh, nice day. Sun's out. And, uh, Hopefully we'll get to see. I've just banged him a little bit of uh, wee germ on there. I already seen him come up and have a little bit of something to eat. So, or he or she. That's a positive. Let's see if we can uh, get a new bit of a shot of the new fish. Now obviously we were travelling back up from down south yesterday. It was a long journey back. So I wasn't going to be messing around with the fish too much. I didn't want to be stressing it by bowling it up to photographs and everything. And obviously it, it had already turned back dark by then. So, there we go. There is the new Doubts of the Tuber. Let's see if we can walk it to come out. There we go. Just down there. Looking pretty good. Settled in well. Already feeding. A little spooked, obviously. Going to be. Good size, fits in well with the rest of the fish. Let's see if we can wait them to come back out from there, see if we can get a chance of them coming up and having a little bit of something to eat. So, the second of the new fish. There are two more to uh, arrive. The one will be a Hiatsuri from Mike Dobo. I hope I pronounced that right, and if I didn't, Mike, I am terribly sorry. Shocking with, with names and such and pronunciations, or pronunciations. There you go, see, told you it was shocking. Um, fingers crossed. Let's see if we can get uh, a, bit of a bit of a zoom in there. And there she is. Already the, the colour since being outside down at Vince's has uh, started to darken up and the areas which were quite light in, in colour are now becoming to come the hopefully gum metalish metallic grey with the achievery brown to the underside and a slightly lighter shaded on the underside of that as well. I think it's going to be a nice fish personally myself. Like I said, come from Vince, but it is um, 2021 Adam Bayer Grown stock. So I technically now have myself a Adam Bayer Doubts of Achiever. Courtesy of Vince. <coughs> Happy with its growth. Looking at the size of the fish now in there with the size of the rest of the fish, it fits in quite well. It's quite a, a good shape, good size, and an equal match proportion to the remainder of the fish. I hope this is showing up guys. If not, I'm just going to step back, see if we can get them to come up a little bit. Let them just uh, calm down and settle and see if we can get some uh, footage of her coming up and having her first feed on camera. I need to give the bottom of the panda, the panda back out and get the filters clean for today's task. And then the next stage is going to be the continuation with the filter system. I'll just get the shed unlocked and you can see the progressive stage so far. And hopefully, there we go, right down underneath is there. Thanks for the frame there. 
I knew doubt to the Tiba. Just a bit now, actually, got two doubts who was in there. A doubt to the Chag. And the new one. Right, let's bob some lights on and we'll give you a bit of a look at what's been going on in here. There's not a great deal of progress as of yet, guys, as I do seem to be doing a heck of a lot of things elsewhere other than at home. But what we have got now are our free. Uh, Filter barrels ready to go, taps all removed off the bottom and what I'm going to be doing is <coughs> feeding to this one so it'll be coming up down from the side of the, from obviously from the pump, from the new retro bottom drain that we get along down the side of the gap of the shed there. This is going to be the difficult bit though doing that. Uh, then coming through the wall into the first barrel which I'm thinking the first barrel I might have as a static bed, but static bed of Jack Martin. That's what I'm thinking. Into into a moving bed, and then into my biological side and polishing, and then through a UV and returning back to the pond. That's what I'm going for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be removing you know making a new hole in here to remove this original tap fitting area and then putting in two inch bulkhead with some shut off gate valves shut off gate valve there shut off gate valve there so that i can air stone in the bottom air stone in the bottom no air stone in this one and then i can be isolating the feed coming in once i've isolated the feed boil it up and then to waste, boil this one up and then to waste and this one will just be a trickle filter system with a polishing pads in the top, trickling down and returning back to the pond. That's the idea. So with the overflow down to fill up, overflow down to overflow and out. That's the idea, that's what I'm going for. I need to order myself um, free gate valves, the trying to remember the name. Oh gosh, what do they call them? Bulkhead fittings. I took some remembering then, sorry. Bulkhead fitting, bulkhead fitting, bulkhead fitting, bulkhead fitting, and again and again. So the system will run in for one, filter up and through, filter up and through. <coughs> Excuse me, and then that will be the uh, the filter system up and running, which I'm going to be progressively letting mature up, and then after after the the two fish that I've got left to, to get is one from Mac, which I've already stated, and the last one which will be from the growing show. Now the reason why, sorry, I'm just uh, straightening the calendar up there. The reason why I'm waiting for the growing show is. I will be getting my pond liner then as well. Just bear me one second. Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, what, what was I saying? That was uh, my son just telling me he was going out. So, um, what was I saying? Uh, uh, the reason why the the pond build will be waiting to such time as after I've picked up my fish from the growing show, which is Jack's growing show, is one of my subscribers, Jeff Lees, which is a huge massive great big shout out to him and a huge massive great big thank you to him because he will be bringing me down, which he's been really nice enough to provide and to give to me, is a 9 meter by 8 meter pond liner. He had it for a project that he's no longer doing and he's offered to provide me with the liner so that I can build my pond bigger so there is a you know valid reason guys as to why it's not going ahead as of yet and two obviously i prefer to work in the good weather rather than being out there freezing my butt off messing around in freezing cold water so the pond will be getting hopefully as much as much size as i can and I've, i know i've mentioned this several times about what i'm trying to do but hopefully it'll be coming up out of the ground somewhat but it'll also be getting some more size and more length and some more depth to it 
depending on how much I can use of the 9 metre by 8 metre pond liner. So again Jeff, thank you very much mate, it really is going to be appreciated. Can't wait to meet you all down there and everybody else that's going to be coming down to the growing show for uh, the Baldwin Reefers um, growing show this year. So, well, there's the fish guys, you can all see them, they're all moving around, they're all, they're all active, cruising around. The weed germ that I'm feeding them is making a lot of pill on the bottom. I've got to admit, it's, uh, it seems to give your fish a good clear out. So, hopefully, fingers crossed. There we go, there's the uh, new Yanabuki Ogon that's just come up there for a bit of food. Hopefully, we can see the new uh, Dautsu Achiever come up too. But yeah, that's the plans, that's the press, that's what we're up to, and that's the stages that we're at at the moment. Now, the other thing I have is I do have what I would consider, and it most definitely is, but it's a nice fish all the same. It's healthy, no cat pops, no damage, decent, decent ish size, it's not massive, it's not a huge fish, but there is the um, Hiyotsuri there, which is granted of lower quality, but a good healthy fish, which I probably might be moving on. Now, if there's anybody who's interested in that one, for me, it's a free gift if anybody wants it. Um, the Hiyotsuri that I've got coming from Mike will be taking its place. Uh, if you see my new fish come up there then, oh, it's lovely. I'm well happy with it. Just a bit. There we go, it's coming up to the top for a bit of food there now. I'll be quiet for a minute and see if we can get to see. There we go. Yes. We've all got to see it then come up to the top nice. So she's she's settling in. I'm going for a she. And I'm, I'm I mean for me it'd be better if it was a male, but if it is a she, then she's uh, she's gonna get pestered come spring. Of next year, I would imagine, if she uh, gets ready for spawning, because I, be, I believe the majority of them in there are males. I don't know for definite, but I certainly would be well and truly over the moon if I could spawn that with some of, perhaps, uh, some of my fish in there as well. I'd be well happy. But we'll see what the future brings. I'm, I'm a lot happier with the quality of the fish that I've got. There we go, she's just come up again for a bit of food. definitely going to stand out nice when the sun gets on this garden pond over the next few few weeks few months the water quality start to warm up she's going to get an awful, an awful lot of sunlight as my pond actually gets a good three quarters of the day constantly things are starting to warm up again the plants are starting to spring back into life fish are getting more active and they're feeding more regular and I just can't wait to see what colours come up and how nice that fish looks as she progresses and she keeps growing, as well as the rest of the fish. Now I'm not a massive uh, rushing or you know force feeding growing of my fish. As long as they're comfortable, they're happy, and they're getting a little bit of size to them. I'm happy for them to just uh, do as they are. But with the growing show fish coming this week or, or next month or so, it's going to be a case of. A little bit more food will be going in, hence the better filter system, so that we can get these fish and get a little bit of size in them all, hopefully. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. The uh, little fish is still in there somewhere, chilling out with the rest of them, but it's a tiny little tiddler. We'll see what that one progresses, or how it progresses, just down there at present. A lot smaller, keeps itself away from the bigger stuff most of the time. Well, we'll see what it becomes. Everybody looks pretty happy. But the retro bottom drain is what I want to get in and get sorted out next. Excuse me, guys, there's the ice cream man. <coughs> Everybody wants an ice cream, is here. <laughs> but yeah, everybody's looking good. Happy. Chuffed with my stock. Happy with my stock levels at the present. The bigger filtration coming shortly, and the um, pond built to follow, guys. There we go. Lovely to see a new fish coming up. Lovely to see everybody else coming up and feeding. 
and as I, as I say, I've only given them a small little handful, just enough to tuck them, you know, pass them, get them through the week kind of thing. I'm not feeding them too much. Temperatures aren't red hot in this pond at all, but it's enough just to uh, to keep them active through the uh, through the week. Just is enough to keep them active and enough to keep them uh, sustained. Once the water temperatures rise up and they come up and we're coming them more active, they will be getting regular daily feeds then. But it's just a little bit of wheat germ just to time over and see how I go. Oh, well, at least we got to see her come up and rise up. So then, like I said, filter system. The shed is almost complete once we've got this in and running. And as I was saying in my live, which I did the other day, on Thursday night, last Thursday, um, the filter system that I have at present, which is there, which actually I might as of yet actually be adding a fourth barrel to this because I've got four, this one may actually go on as well. I wanted to make sure that I've got the three so that I can have those three up and running. <clears throat> and the reason by having the fourth is because if I take this one off, I have nothing on the filter system. Till such time as I connect it up, I'd rather keep them as they need to be in clean, healthy water to the point of getting this up and cycled and running then I know that I could be adding this part to the system that's already cycled which will give my kickstart to the rest of the filter system so that's the idea guys that's what that's why I've gone out and bought I got given two one from Daz one from Mick Lawson and a new one picked up from Wix oops and then I've got a system that's up ready to go and I, I might I'm either going to do what I said, which was going to be a, like some kind of a back shower system there, or I will add in this one and have that trickle filter system that I've got there as my final stage, which will be, then I might be able to go jack matting, static bed, moving bed, trickle tower, filter system and a return through UV and return. I think that might be the one I actually go for. So it might end up turning into a four barrel filter system, which I think will be ample filtration for my little pond which will be coming a little bit on the bigger side come mid-year so guys i hope you've enjoyed this is obviously new fish number two there you go one more quick shot so you can see you this is a nice long side the doubt through the tag there There we are. Good shape, well proportioned in size to the rest of the fish. This is looking good. So guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the number two of uh, Kazas Koypon's new fish for this season. I hope you like the look of the fish. I certainly do, which is all that really matters, as they say. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and I'm well happy with it. I think it'll make a nice, good size, good body fish. And if the colours come up with a bit of uh, sunlight, as I expect them to do, we'll watch it progress together. So, from me, and on this occasion, nobody else. This is a rarity in itself. I'd like to thank you all for subscribing, coming along, and joining me on these uh, episodes if you could do me a huge favor like share subscribe tell a friend and until next time guys keep smiling i'll see you on the next one take it easy